good day to the whole world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Elizabeth Mama Bossman. I am here live in Brazil as a South African. Um, been living in Brazil for nine years and been visiting South Africa in every two two years. I would like to introduce my age also. I'm 34 years of age, born in 1985, 15th of March. I have three kids. I respect life. I love life. And I love enjoying my life. And I want to live life. And if South Africa continues with the way they are carrying on, I don't think all of us will be in the same page as enjoying life. I'm a foreigner in another country. I've been in seven countries, different, ta different seven countries, and I've never been treated or been shown any attitude or racism or z I've never experienced any xenophobic attack. So let's get straight to the point. What is wrong with you South Africans? Is it lack of knowledge? Go to school. Is it lack of money? Go and sell and trade and make money. Is it lack of knowledge? Go and seek it. Is it lack of spiritual knowledge? Go and study the Bible. I don't see anything wrong with every foreigner being in South Africa. I am so angry, so ashamed of myself as a South African. I am annoyed. It's so irritating to know that I'll be in a foreign country and never been treated like the way you guys are treating your fellow blacks in your own country you think your the country is only for you do you even go back in history to know how much these africans you are killing have invested and helped during the apartheid do you even go back in research Huh? You are looking at your fellow black man trying to survive like you and you go and slaughter the person like the person is nothing an animal. What has gotten into you guys? I'm sick and annoyed. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. The president is not doing anything about it. I don't know what Julius Malema is making noise about. He should stop preaching this and help these niggas that are so ignorant and uneducated. All these taxi drivers and all the Zulus that are so from... This is not Shaka Zulu time. This is not Shaka Zulu time that you people will go out for a war for no reason. Face reality. You guys, stop being failures. Go to school and learn anything. These people you guys are against. Look at the Chinese invaded the Indians, the Pakistans. They invaded the whole South Africa. What are you guys doing about it? The whole lens area, the whole South Gate, the whole, talk about it, the whole Rhinebeck. All of them are there, Indians, all of them, Pakistan. They are selling more than you guys. And you're looking at Nigeria and your fellow black. Why don't you start from those Chinese? In every Bedford view, go to Eastgate. It's only them that is raining and you are there killing your fellow brother. Yo, fellow black man, what is all this? This has nothing to do with xenophobia. This is hatred. You don't love yourselves. Instead of you blacks, join hands together and deal with the real matter. The real matter here, the whites are happy sitting down in their home. Watching the babugin, the baboons and the hooligans fighting among each other. And they are, what are they doing? They are happy. 
you are destroying a beautiful country. Look at the Nigeria now. Everywhere I go now, I should be watching my back. Is that how to do things? Is that how educated are you guys being now? Let's be realistic. I'm sorry, but I am not proudly South African like 10 years ago I used to be. I am not so proud anymore. South Africa, I'm ashamed of you guys. South Africa, you embarrassing me. South Africa, you are useless. South Africans, wake up. Wake up. It's already almost late. If you don't correct this, if you don't take charge, if you don't do something about this, your country is gone just like this. Once upon a time, Zimbabwe was one of the most beautiful countries. Let me give you an example. Don't let it get to that point. You will regret. Wake up and go and do something and stop waiting for a Zimbabwean, Zim, a Malawian, a, a, a Mozambican to come and work it for, for you. Go and work and do a trade. Do something. Go and risk your life to raise money and go and invest and start a business. Stop being stuck illiterate. You're blockheads. You guys are blocked in your head. You're thick skulls. Yes. I want to tell all the South Africans. I'm a South African, including me. What kind of mentality is this? What kind of life are you people trying to live? Who are you even trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? It's not a good thing. It's not a wise thing. Think back. These Nigerians, if they tell you history, how much they contributed during apartheid. Go and learn and study something. Huh? Do you think if Mandela was here, this thing would get out of hand the way it is? What is even wrong with you guys? Huh? Look at. Step out of that country. Go and buy a ticket and get out of South Africa. And go and hustle. Go and know how to work abroad. Go and learn how to even... Many of these foreigners you are seeing, they risk their life to do illegal things. To do illegal things to show you they have sense. They want to learn and do something to rise. Not to go and kill their fellow brothers so that they can gain nothing out of it. Because you are killing somebody, they invested their own money. Everything that you see is their own money. South Africa, you don't have money. You are comfortable earning 3,000 rents, 4, 5, 6,000 rents. Rise up and go and look how to earn $10,000, $50,000 and stop being stuck illiterate. I'm so annoyed and pissed. I'm not happy because I am in a foreign country. In this country, I've never seen such ill treatment. I repeat my name again, Elizabeth Mama Bosman. That's my name. Is where I come from. I come from Krugersdorp in Cajiso. I grew up and born and brought up in Johannesburg. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the country. As I'm standing here now, I don't even think I will even want to go to South Africa. You make me sick. The last time I was in South Africa, right from the immigration, look at a black, ugly girl. Whether she took shower that very day or not, started harassing, looking me up and down. Just because I have stamps, more than 10 stamps in my passport. Yes, I travel. I live abroad. For nine years, I'm out of South Africa. You know why? I can't stand you guys. I can't stand your mentality, low mentality very low and ignorant i don't know which schools you guys go or went but it's a, it was a big waste of time if you went to school and you're acting like this it was a hell of a waste of time travel to nigeria and go and learn something go to zimbabwe and learn something they will show you that this is 
a land of knowledge. Don't be spoiled because they, 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 they introduce so much human rights. That's why you people are so human, inhuman, and unright. South Africa, go to hell. Go to hell. Go and think. Ask God to bless your country. Because as it is, devil is walking there. And stop the devil and shame him. And wake up and apologize to the African countries. Apologize to everybody. You, this new president, Mutlante, whatever you call yourself, Zuma, before you, I never see this kind of problem of attack, called xenophobia attack. Since you guys are being in power, you guys are being so useless so far. So step aside and let the rightful people take over because clearly things cannot get out of hands in your own watch. And you come and stand and talk bullshit in public that doesn't change a single thing. Nonsense. Sick and sick and tired. I love you, Zimbabwe. I love you, Nigeria. I love you, Mozambique. I love you, all the African countries. Tanzania, you name it, Burundi, you name all the South African countries. I am so, so deeply, so damn sorry about what is taking place in South Africa. If the president has no apology to this, I send my deepest apology. Personally, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. As a South African, I know what they are doing is not right. Please, I don't know how it's going to stop and when. But let us sit down and reconsider everything. I'm so sorry. All I'm going to advise you guys is to don't destroy anything in your own countries. Let South Africa destroy themselves in South Africa. Everybody that can keep themselves safe in South Africa, they get out of the way. Let them do whatever they want. But don't destroy anything in Nigeria, Tanzania, Zambia, Mozambique. Don't do that. Your country is already building up and coming up and becoming beautiful also. So it's worthless for you to now, in as much as you guys are trying to repropriate your country to be into standard, and at this point now you go and destroy everything. No. Also, what you're destroying is going to be a problem also for your indigents people that are working there people that are doing everything there but look i'm not gonna stop anything i'm not god but i'm gonna put everything into prayer i remember one good song god bless africa and this wow our land and he God bless Africa. You know what? Africa is a great country, is a great continent, great countries and everything is a special history historical country. So let us just try and see what we can do to to rectify this white people are laughing at us let us not let it be please thank you africa supposed to be one one only one we don't even supposed to use visa to go anywhere in africa have you seen what a white man has done divided us and now they are sitting, sipping cafe, rocking on their rock Hennessy, and we are there killing ourselves. Mm. A Nigerian man was say, now wow, chai, tufia kwa, bad, ugly, tufia, tufia kwa, 
useless, idiots, fools, monkeys, baboons, ewu, aturu, hmm? mannerless, no respect, no respect of life. Haba, haba, or getting a man. What is wrong with you guys? What is it?